Hi, Cancer. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to all of you for all the support. I send you so much love and appreciation. Right back in return. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday. Then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. So today's reading will bring in aspects of money, love, career, travel, moving, whatever you're asking about. Mondays are a different style every week. Uh, you'll just have to come back to see what those are all about. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice do you have for cancer? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does cancer need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with cancer? Messages for cancer, please. All right, got a couple of jumpers here. All right, we'll start here with the tarot and then we'll have a couple of different oracle cards to join us. You have here the emperor, the king of wands, very sturdy, passionate energy, the page of swords, the hanged man, the eight of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, the tower, and the two of cups. Now let's see what these two are all about. I have no idea. Interesting, we've got the hermit, and the Page of Wands. Well, the Hermit is a card of success. We've got three major, no, I'm sorry, four major arcana. We have Aries and Virgo showing up. We've got Earth, Air, Water, and we do have Fire. So all the elements. Um, I do feel like somebody here, you're going to have a change of heart. And it comes from going within. The Hermit is know thyself, but it's not the kind of getting to know yourself that you can get just from like walking around the mall or something. I get somebody on a bike path. It looks like it's a very, um, not wooded exactly, but there's like, it's like a path where there's wildflowers and rabbits jumping out and, you know, that sort of thing. I feel like somebody is doing that and it's helping you just to quiet down your mind. I even get the sensation of like having an earbuds or something with no music just to kind of dampen the wind, especially if you like to go rather fast. There's something about this combination, though. That's a, there's a bit of an independent energy going on here, and especially to what this is going to do for you, because, of course, the Hermit is a card of success. It's saying you're coming out on the other side of change stronger, better, more aware, more, it's like in, a, in an enlightened energy. But with that page of wands, what that is going to do for you is help you to have a, a that inspired action, taking the action. So the hermit gives you the intuition. The page of wands says, I'm doing it, even if I don't completely know what I'm doing. Now, I do get for somebody, if you're starting a business, you might be doing it somewhat on the fly, whether it's a YouTube channel or something online with social media and kind of watching as you go, watching videos. There's plenty of those. Or if you're doing something with a business like a catering business, I even get somebody doing either like floral or like charcuterie boards, that sort of thing where you can do it out of your house or out of a smaller area where you don't need a full on, you know, advanced kitchen to do it. And so I do feel like with this, it's going to be fun. It's going to bring out your creativity. Whoever's starting a side business, you do, you've got a creative edge going on here, Cancer. And I do feel like it's going to bring in nice, a nice amount of money. Um, so with the emperor energy, I'd say go for it with this. This is a card of wealth. He's the architect of the universe. He's nobility. There's nothing higher than an emperor. So this is a card of achievement, but it's also a card of discipline and order. And so anything that you're doing, even if you're doing it a bit on the fly and using the internet as your guide, hey, nothing wrong with that. But I feel like you have enough discipline behind you that it won't just be willy-nilly. And I also feel like, too, somebody here, if you're starting some kind of a business, you get it that as a business owner, a lot of times you have to do things in your off time. There is no off time. I mean, I, I can think of one time I, I have a hairdresser who works for herself and I sent her a text and I guess it was like six at night. And she was done working at five and said, can you send me a text the next day? Now, to me, I, I would say that's not emperor energy. 
an emperor would say, yep, let me schedule you right now. Okay, so some of you, you might have to be a little careful with this to make sure you have that work-life balance. Those of you that are starting something new, because I feel like you're gonna go straight in head on. Now, if you're working for someone else, you're gonna get promoted quickly because that kind of energy, that sort of can-do attitude, and I am doing it until it's done right and it's done you know, to a, a lot of attention to detail. There's This is not sloppy. And so in terms of work and career, I feel like you're going to be making gains and bold moves. And somebody here too with that 10 of pentacles, eight of pentacles, 10 of pentacles, you're going to get paid for it. Whatever it is, there's money coming in and money coming in your direction. And if also too, before things shut down, the whole world shut down on us, if you had a situation where in the past you would have been voluntold to do certain things um, I, without being paid, now you're going to get paid for it. I do feel like some things have shifted and there's more money available. So even with this, even if you say that's always been me, even, you know, it's not your sign, but you say I've always been that type of a worker, an employee, I feel like you're going to get compensated for it in ways that you haven't before. Now, I mentioned with the King of Wands, this also, I love the Page of Wands and the Page of Cups together. He's the Page of Cups isn't here, but if you fancy yourself a bit of a Page of Cups, spontaneous, fun-loving, that sort of energy, your Page of Wands energy is going to have you having great times socially. But with the energy of the King of Wands, this may be who you're attracting. I do get this because you've got this wonderful Two of Cups energy with the Ten of Pentacles. This is like, you know, not just meeting somebody, but it's meeting somebody that's electrified there's wonderful chemistry here, and it's a it's a relationship that's going to run the distance. This is not just a hot start, and then you think fondly of one another in the time that you are together. With the King of Wands, this person's very loyal also, and they again, this may be their energy, their energy in terms of being kind of a go-getter by nature. They may have accomplished a lot of things. They may be somebody who when they take a Bahabi, they really kind of get go all into it so they understand it. They get mastery is what I hear with this. But again, it's more the charisma that I'm getting off of this energy than anything else. Somebody that's fun, they're funny, they're fun to be around. They may be a bit of a risk taker too, okay? They may be not afraid at all to try new things. It may be part of just who they are. It's like, let's go do this. I almost get page of wands for them too because they make a fun companion. And so I also feel like they they believe in you. So if it's you that's going to take a leap of faith with work, whoever it is that you have coming in, they believe in you and they see that they see your tenacity. They see that they they support you in any way that they can. So this page of swords shows up, the internet spy. I got this connected at first with somebody doing something with work, okay? Like those of you starting a side gig, I get this energy of doing some research online. That's what it feels like, online research with this one. Um, I do feel like you have a shift coming in, though, of course, with the tower. So this will be somewhat helpful because it'll help you to not just be, you know, in the know and doing research, but it's also a bit of caution. OK, he looks behind him because he wants to make sure the coast is clear. Nobody's coming up the rear unexpectedly. So I do feel like those of you that are going into some kind of business on your own, you're going to it's creative and it's going to be unique. And so when we say somebody's coming off the rear, if they do, what they're doing is going to be different. It's not going to be the same thing. Or if it does eventually pan out that you start to find some followers, some wannabes, hey, you did it first. OK, so you might want to capitalize on that, too. I like the idea that you're the first of this kind. So. The hangman comes in and this illumination of the crown, the number four is often associated with this, but it's like that light bulb moment, that aha moment, that really great idea that you were born to do. It's coming in right now. Now, for some of you too, in terms of love, this may be a bit of a different kind of relationship. This can be a reversal of viewpoints and opinions, but I also feel like it's welcoming a welcome change. That's what I was going to say. It's like a welcome change. You're going to be in flow here. You're easy going. And talk about double surrender to win. Both of these are like, I say the tower is let go or be dragged. But the hangman too is like that surrender to win, easy going energy. So if there's something that you feel like you're pushing against where it just seems like, God, this is hard to do. You know, if it's been relationships and you feel like it's you're swimming in a, uh, into a current all the time or it's been a job and you couldn't get a permit or you couldn't get this to happen. 
I do feel like with this, it's going to give you a turn of events that's going to make things a whole lot easier. Um, so ultimately, though, the hangman energy, that aha energy, it's very going to be very useful to you. And if it's relationships, too, like I said, you may attract somebody who's different than what you've tried in the past. With the Eight of Pentacles, you're going to be building up a future, building up those coins. I'm telling you with this one, money comes in here, but it also is coming in here. So the Ten of Pentacles, this new cycle, it's perfection. It is like being in this place where you feel like you can't catch a struggle. Everything seems to be working together. You're in the right place at the right time. You're meeting up with the right people. And I also feel if you are doing some kind of business, you're, it's going to be easy to attract customers. I just feel like you're supposed to be doing this for whoever it is. Um, now, in terms of a relationship, like I said, this person only has eyes for you. They're not looking around. They're not on the internet trying to be in all these dating profiles while they're going out with you. Absolutely not. I also feel like, too, though, you're going to be upfront about what you're looking for, and that will help as well. Well, the tower is a turning point. It's that quick and sudden change, but ultimately it delivers a radical new life. And with the hangman here, it's the end of any delusions and really seeing things clearly. So if you had a change and it created this whole idea of starting a business or the idea of a relationship ended and that wasn't the one for me, guess what it's bringing in? The perfect match, okay? You have the perfect match coming in, whether it's a relationship or a job for you, Cancer. Let's see now what the whispers of love have to say about love. What else does Cancer need to know about love, please? Advice for Cancer about love. You have here, appreciate this moment, every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. So even if you say, my God, I'm in the dark night of the soul right now, guess what? It always comes in to lead you to more. And then we'll find out what the fortune oracle has to say. What else does cancer need to know about money, please? Advice for cancer about money. Sun, the sun, I like this one. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. So you are entering a new cycle that's going to bring many opportunities. Good things are on the way for you, Cancer. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.